know what I mean? Like the community person of the year is the Hong Kong protesters, and then Times person of the year is Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg, man. Greta Thunberg. How dare you! Hold on, hold on. Protest going to school until people solve your problems for you. I know, it's great, <laughs> isn't it? Go around the world on your yacht. I mean, and, and then just like advocate taxes, but no, like no, no clean air initiatives like that, which I fucking put push for. For uh, like, dude, I like uh, before we actually, uh, you know, like I think I'm gonna put this in here because I finally got OBS and stuff going. So now we got the show going for real, um, dude. You know I used. What? To... I'm thinking about tax evasion. Yeah. Oh no. no. Oh well, you're uh, not old wait, enough. Wait, wait. Restart not the old show. En- Restart the show. Yeah, you're not old enough no. to. To, to, to even think about quote unquote tax evasion, you like you probably don't even have to pay taxes. Lucky, lucky Jason you. Is four years old. <laughs> He's four <laughs> years old when you pay your taxes, boy. But nah, man, I, I used to work for an environmental uh, little uh, Austin-based company, right? What? I I didn't I put a, I meant to put a different one in the chat. No, that's fine. But you know, like don't. Don't you you know? Don't uh, put that out there anywhere. We're recording now. Uh, like I don't care what you just just don't say it out loud. Um, yeah, I was I was working as in an environmental company and uh, based out of freaking Austin, Texas, when I was living in Houston. And do we uh, we had connections to uh, environmental lobbyists up in Washington, and we did everything we could to try and get even like simple uh, acknowledgments of clean air. Uh, acts and stuff like that uh, uh, at least acknowledged in Congress uh, we never got a fucking single goddamn thing uh, ever because uh, like you know Congress doesn't give a shit like you know climate change to them is sort of a it's just a catalyst to scare people into voting for them ultimately like n- no one in Congress not not the corporations not government no one really has any solutions to fucking climate change uh, so Riley, this is your guest Jello, right? Yeah, it's my boy Jason. He's a good friend of mine. We've done a bunch of YouTube stuff together. We're we're versed together in the YouTube space. He used to edit videos for me. In fact, we are intertwined in our YouTube careers. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Like, uh, what 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 kind of projects were you guys working on? Uh, we do. Uh, we've done some videos that Jason's put together. Together. Jason used to edit my Let's Plays so that they'd be slightly less shitty. <laughs> what are your Let's Plays about? I don't, I admit I haven't watched your Let's Plays yet. It's just me playing video games, games, games and trying to be funny. I, th- I think Mo understood what a Let's Play is. I think he was asking yeah. for Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that, I was asking for <laughs> specifics. <laughs> Oh God! Welcome to the Mo- welcome to the MoCast. I'm your host Mo Diggity. Uh, today with us we got a special guest of Riley's. Riley, this is a uh, Jello, uh, spelled Jell Mo, you know because that, you know, of course in this Discord. And uh, say hi, Jello. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy Jell. Okay, all right, all right, and, uh, all right. I'm gonna le- give you. I'm going to give you a, a fresh restart. I'm going to give you a fresh restart to reintroduce yourself like a gentleman. So, okay. so hey, Jello, how are you doing? Top of the morning to you. What's poppin', my fair lads? It's your boy, Jello. I wish for poverty. And also, my co host, Robin. How are you doing, Robin? What's poppin'? It's Robin. What's poppin' it's Robin. <laughs> and of course, uh, we, you know that we have Riley right here. What's poppin' it's Riley. You guys can't freaking plagiarize me like this, dude. You can't plagiarize me, guys. Seriously. <laughs> where's where's, where's your trademark, huh? Yeah, where, where is your trademark here? Gall. Trademark, the best uh, page of the universe. Uh, give me a second to find it. Okay, so uh, today what I really wanted to focus on, what I was going to talk about really was uh, the, uh, I'm sorry, what? I found my trademark. Found his trademark. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Anyway, 
So primarily what I was wanting to really focus on today, and I know that we're sort of like, we'll end up veering off topic, I fucking know it. Because of course we're talking about YouTube and, you know, alternative platforms and all that stuff. But what happened was uh, YouTube put uh, made uh, changes to its quote-unquote harassment and bullying and, and uh, blah, blah. Uh, and of course... It's it's extremely vague. It's not very. Uh, it's not worded very properly. It doesn't really seem like anything that is going to be uh, even-handedly enforced. Uh, but we've uh, w w people sort of thought that it wasn't going to be really that much of a big deal. But we barely we're barely two days in, and we already have Baring get a video struck down about his uh, video several months ago about this uh, about Christy Winters doxing him, and uh, Ricky Berwick, you know the uh, the disabled dude who just does a bunch of really kind of gross shit, but fucking funny. He got one of his uh, videos completely uh, uh, knocked off of YouTube because they thought that the ketchup oozing out of my mouth was real blood. FLII, if you want to do a scary cosplay, don't use fake blood. So yeah, it's it's starting to get kind of crazy almost immediately after the uh, uh, standards were already uh, um, up, updated and amended and now people are start, starting to... Uh, freak out a little bit thinking well like what's that mean for criticizing public officials because that was sort of a big thing uh, uh, that was that was a big thing that was addressed in the uh, the, the update uh, people weren't really sure like if uh, you know like your favorite late night host who does a lot of uh, uh, orange man bad sort of content is that going to be stricken off the platform or is it nope. going to be not a fucking chance. <laughs> Not a fucking chance in hell. Well, or is it that credit? Is that video that you made, whoever you are, of Elizabeth Warren or Hillary Clinton, is that going to be fucking left up uh, on the pl uh, platform or even monetized? Probably nope. fucking not. Well, especially because I'm pretty sure Clinton is on their list of no-no words. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Thanks to Nerd City, who did a pretty decent video. Uh, about like what words are just auto demo or just uh, uh, on the the naughty no no list, and it's kind of crazy how many non slurs and non swear words uh, are on the list, such as uh, uh, gay or LGBT or lesbian. Uh, <coughs> That's homophobic. Well, hey, that, that well, yeah, tell that's YouTube. Tell that's yeah. YouTube. So yeah, pretty much we're already starting. We're already starting to see uh, uh, the, the the downfall of uh, of of this. Well, maybe not the downfall, but the uh, uh, the the ramifications of this update. And this was just a harassment policy update. Oh, the have... question I have is: Do we have any idea if this is a change that they made in the algorithm, or if they're doing uh, like manual takedowns? Uh, well, so far it's it might YouTube. just. Yeah, well, so far it, it might just be a little bit of both. We're, I'm not completely sure. I haven't been able to uh, ascertain uh, any uh, direct uh, answers for one or the other. But my guess, it's probably more likely a, a, a tweaking, a, a retweak of the algorithm, and probably manual takedowns as well. Then again, I also don't know. Bro, this is YouTube. Susan Wikipedia doesn't even know the meaning of the word. <laughs> Wikipedia? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? It's just your name. <clears throat> Susan Wikipedia, get your ass back out here in YouTube land. I can't be t talking to you. But, uh, Susan yeah. Wikipedia, please now tell me the history of World War One. They say you cannot um, make fun of somebody's appearance. I have a feeling a lot of... Um, a lot of videos in which a certain female CEO gets called a horse-faced bitch <laughs> are gonna go bye-bye. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, uh, 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 fucking them, uh, pretty much every single drama channel out there, that means, uh, Tommy C from Shot from the Point is probably gonna get his freaking, uh, uh, channel nuke from fucking Orbit, 
Uh, Wait, Augie. Does this also mean Keemstar will be gone? Oh, more than likely Keemstar will probably be gone because they've been wanting to get rid of his ass for a long ass time. Woo! We did it. Doesn't Keemstar have we like, did a it, bunch Reddit. of connections within YouTube? Uh, like, yeah, he does, and, and it really just fucking sucks. It, it really fucking does suck because I, I, I love his shit personally, and I, I don't... Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Oh, I can't be here. Yeah, I can't be here. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, but seriously, like, I, I I, don't know. Like, there's nothing wrong with fucking drama channels. Just, you know, keep it keep it at least well, semi-polite. Oh, yeah, it yeah, yeah. It, like, no. it's... But let's be real here. It's mostly, like, catty bitches yelling at other catty bitches. Like, I kind of don't see that so much with, uh, you know, the Keemstars, the Tommy C's, the R... Well... Augie RFC, maybe Early just Early Keemstar a bit. deserved his ban. You know, people like oh. Lucius here <laughs> should have been banned. Like, yeah, right. Yeah, like goddamn, dude. You like you watch a uh, you, oh you watch a, a a lot of Leafies here early shit. You're like, dude, how the fuck was he even like even with their uh uh even when their uh, TOS was getting pretty strict. You know, like uh, Leafy is here violated a lot of those rules even for just back in the day and what's crazy is the thing that really uh, started freaking everyone out is uh, the very start of this well, on the 10th when this was implemented uh, one of iDubbbz's fucking uh, videos I forgot which one it was specifically but it... is here video. oh was it the Leafy was here video because I, I thought yeah. the... Oh, okay, okay. I thought they, those two were either intertwined or whatever, but that's fucking kind of nuts because uh, that was a good content cop, and it was very factual and accurate, and now they're starting to hit fucking iDubs, and that's kind of crazy. I don't know why they specifically went after the Leafy is here video, but it seems that that's where it got their goat, and now it's fucking taken off, so... I, I'm gonna assume it was a <laughs> change to the algorithm. Because okay. every time they make any kind of small change to the algorithm, a bunch of shit ends up taken down that shouldn't be on the like first couple days of it. Hmm. Yeah, true, true. And there's always like a bunch of hiccups and a bunch of this and that. So really, this uh, this this spooky, scary little time that we're living in right now. This is usually how the first couple of days are, and then you see everything sort of writes out a little bit, and you don't really see as many uh, videos banned really at all and that's a little I, I guess we sort of all fall for the alarmist trend a little bit like we see the sky is falling a little bit but it's not really falling you know you're just getting freaking pooed on a little uh by the powers that be but it still sucks though it's it's not very fun it's not like for example in the case of ricky berwick it's like yeah if a human saw him spitting up ketchup they would go all right, yeah, that's ketchup. That's dumb. But like, maybe an algorithm thinks like that's blood. Like that's actually blood. Absolutely, right? absolutely. Stupid robot. They fucking robots. <sighs> so anyway, so it's, it's impossible to manually moderate all of YouTube. It's, oh yeah, it's, it's fucking impossible. It's, it's it's literally like trying to find a black hole with a planet, find, trying to find a black hole with a magnifying glass. Uh, you know, you're not going to fucking find one. All right, you're you're totally screwed. But anyway, I think Honestly, I've, right, hold on. I, I think I. I think I've talked it. I think I've talked enough. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hand it to you guys, Jello. Let's go ahead and start with you. W what's your What's your hot take on this so far? Honestly, I think they integrated this into their like terms and uh, terms and what whatnot because of their fear of uh, Coppa. <laughs> yeah, Coppa really fucked a lot of things up for YouTube. Specifically, I don't know how this is go how COPPA it will how it will be enforced on other places like say Daily Motion or BitChute, but I guess time will tell on that. But for right now, we know for a fact that uh, YouTube is primarily being targeted by this regulation. So go ahead. I don't, yeah, I don't think people realize the meteor that is the FTC raining down on YouTube in January. Yeah, Mo and Robin were saying earlier that they don't think it's as bad as everybody thinks. So please educate them. Jason. That's not. That's not. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. We 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 did not say that it was not as bad. I said, uh, <laughs> I said that Rikita from Nick Rikita from Rikita Law made a couple of good points about Coppa might not be as bad as we think it is. But I'm just saying he made a couple of good points. We're not gonna really know what the landscape's gonna look like 
until January hits and we start seeing how yeah. this is implemented. So I, I, I'm going to reserve uh, my final judgment until I see uh, uh, this. Uh, when the uh, day of reckoning arrives. Yes, when the day of the sausage arrives, and let's see how Super. deeply we take it. Yeah. Okay. For, but yeah, um, like. Bro. Jason. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm not gonna interrupt you. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Like the FTC did release like a statement that they are trying to they are trying to learn more about like how at first level it may look like it appeals to children but like it actually doesn't like they're trying to learn and they also say that like it, it's up to forty two thousand dollars that they can find you and it's not like it's they might let you off a little bit easier depending and they said it depends on if you're like partnered with like a corporation or some stuff yeah well, well yeah but that's the, one of the things that doesn't make sense is the like forty two thousand dollar like price point where it's like up to that because it, it seems like that's way too much for small businesses and then way too little for big businesses like it's it doesn't really hit any kind of yeah uh, no they said they said it it could vary because of that and i guess like depending on how much you like uh like break the rules of kafa okay yeah. that, that makes a little more sense the, the issue with the issue is like it's it's not like a terms of service thing kappa is like something that's existed for a long time it's a yeah like, it's not like in it like it's yeah, an actual it's law like, yeah yeah so it's they not can't like just use context system. yeah context isn't a thing that can exist in a like a law you can't say well it's yeah. up to context it's like no you have to specifically define these rules and they're not very clearly defined right now yeah a but lot that's, of people that's think better than saying like, we're going to use context <laughs> stupid yeah Oh, it's a, like a lot of people don't real think that it's just like a Boy Scout honor system marking your content for all, not for and for kids, but no, it's the freaking law. <laughs> you you could get legally punished for this, which is kind of crazy because like uh, they, they didn't really uh, up until like we were just now talking about the uh, the 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 heavy handedness of, of the fine or how it could be heavy handed and depending on some factors like if you're working with a corporation or something it would be yeah. you know they, they didn't really say that uh, right off the bat they just said uh, uh, like you know this is what it sounded like to John and Jane Q YouTuber right we're going to find people 40, 40 something thousand dollars uh, for videos if we think they're marketed to kids and this includes everything from let's plays to anything slightly like cartoonish that maybe deals with say comic books like comic historian uh, might get hit real real hard because that dude has been playing by the rules uh, that YouTube set out for years and years rarely if ever swears in his videos uh, 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 displays the comic book uh, panels in, in each little shot so he's giving you context how the comic is going right and he reads the comic to you or gives you the synopsis to you right so we're yeah. figuring out well okay since this dude obeyed the rules of YouTube, didn't swear, didn't really cover quote unquote controversial content or anything like that, or uh, 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 was directly uh, peddling wares to kids or trying to like say take their uh, their their contact information and sell it to other ad companies, which is what this uh, COPPA is supposed to be about. But yada yada yada, uh, we're not sure if he's going to get just just destroyed uh, and just throw it off the platform and this is a nightmare scenario since he's been doing YouTube for years and years now he might I think he has like a few hundred videos so it's just just is this just going to be a channel wide fine if he ever got fine or is it going to be yeah. a fine for every single video that they mark as uh, 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 going against the, the COPPA standards but like he freaking like yeah so he you know he obeys by the rules so he can g get advertised like YouTube wanted him to and like and now he, that all of that work is just going to go to waste because the FTC said lol no 
Yeah, it really is sort of a life prick tease, you know. We see, you sort of like look at the hey, you can go break your back at the the factory, or you could just sit in front of your webcam and make a job for yourself, right? L well, and yeah. then the light, and then life just comes in and just says, "L well, fuck you," and this is just how it just dicks you down. Uh, you know, it, it really is sort of a mind fuck in a way when things ha like this happen. Yeah. The thing with Kappa for me is like, it's the kind of thing where like I hear about these possible legal penalties and all this money, and I'm like, I have zero dollars literally, so I cannot even like, if there's a ghost of a chance, I cannot take it. So, sometime in late December, I'm probably gonna completely private my YouTube channel. It's not like, honestly, video making is like a secondary thing for me. My main passion is podcasts, so I'm probably my big plan for the for the COPPA shutdown is to make an Anchor.fm feed that's just like the Riley Brooks super feed with all of my podcasts on it, and then keep uh, re-upload all the podcasts on the YouTube there. Oh, you should see if you can get a, the MoCast on there, man. That'd be kind of sweet. On Anchor.fm, that should be easy. I, you know, I, I've uh, honestly, I, I've I've tried to make sense of RSS feeds, but. I've already blown like I, I've blown money on RSS feeds like uh, twenty bucks. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, twenty bucks yeah, so get, far, I can and get so you like for free and submit you places pretty easily. All right, all right, all right. Well, well, anyway, we'll we'll talk about that later. That's good. That's good. Yeah. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So um, pretty much I I have no real faith. In, in in this uh, terms of service update in regards to uh, how public figures can be addressed or how anyone can be addressed for that matter now this broadens the horizon for people to to really mundane map the shit out of you and that's just it, it really is sort of the, the the death of the content creator on YouTube and with that being said, I'd like to go ahead and segue into our next point and start talking about what uh, viable alternatives there are and what that even means to us. If you think a viable alternative is even really necessary. Right, or hold on. Let me list off some vi viable alternatives to YouTube. Okay. You see, you see how I said nothing because there are none. There are none. Well, I mean, there's like, well, there's BitChute for one, and that's pretty much the strongest competitor. Once they well, finally you said it's viable, there's well, alternatives. Uh, I think uh, honestly, I think uh, BitChute's going to be the viable alternative. I think it is a viable alternative. Can because... you get paid on BitChute though? Yeah, there, there is, uh, there is monetization. It's, it's uh, uh being slowly rolled out because it's kind of being ran by a freaking skeleton crew but hey uh freaking microsoft was building in a, in, built in a garage so i'm not really I, I think in about four to five years the the dig, the digital landscape will change and i'm not sure if uh companies like youtube or even facebook are going to be playing that much of a prevalent role in society i think youtube will still be around but i i don't think that it'll be as popular as it once was i think that they're sort of headed down a freaking path that they're not going to be able to recover from like this is eventually the, the markipliers of the platform maybe not the pewdiepies but the markipliers of the platform anyway Riley brooks is of the platform anyway yeah sorry but so the person who gets no traction yeah sorry i, I got interrupted uh um yeah, well, just like the the, the people who are, who just get so pissed off, like the the big leaguers, that uh, eventually they are going to sort of lose their temper and get pissed off, and just go, you know what, fuck it, I'm just going to leave and I'm going to take my fans with me, and yeah, not every little fan's going to go, but honestly, you only need like only like some thousands to really start being considered a quote unquote success. And honestly, if a platform really is smart, like say with Mixer is with Ninja and Shroud, then eventually, even though they're not making those initial Twitch numbers at their peak, uh, they'll end up making those numbers back. I guarantee it. Like everyone it wants uh, to, to 
be immediately vindicated as far as their opinion is concerned. And these people, the people who sort of see, uh, who, who sort of say this, they, they, they really don't seem to understand uh, what the term long term is really is because we're not going to be able to figure out what everything is going to look like a month after a big move like that we're just going to have to wait and see so in about a year or two we'll finally be able to see whether or not uh that uh, uh that move to mixer or that move to bit shoot for insert content creator here was viable or not unless of course they crash and burn immediately in any in which case it wasn't a good move good idea at all but anyway uh, I talked long enough. Uh, Robin, what do you what do you think? <coughs> um, so I I just think the large YouTubers, like the big big YouTubers, they're not gonna want to switch because they're they're gonna lose a chunk of their viewer base, their subscriber base. You know the things that make them discoverable on YouTube, right? They're they're not gonna want to leave. Like yeah, they'll have the most people that would move over to this new site, but they're they're not gonna want to. Yeah. And then you have the um you know the middle of the road YouTubers. They're not going to want to leave because they want to grow, and there's no discoverability on on something like a bit shoot because there's no there's no viewer base. They have no incentive to leave because no one new will be finding their videos. They won't gain subscribers. They won't you know increase their ad revenue. And then the small fish are you know they might move to bit shoot for more discoverability, like the really 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 small fish. But it doesn't have any long term viability because you're not getting. Uh, traffic to to bit shoot in in the same scale that you're getting traffic to something like YouTube. See, I I I disagree with you, and here's the big reason why I disagree. Uh, D Live wasn't really uh, on the map at all <coughs> uh, for for the longest time until Keemstar uh, finally went over there and started streaming his drama alert stuff. Like when he first uh, got banned off of YouTube. Uh, he started going over there and started doing his show there, and I thought that was really cool. And that gave uh, D Live a bit of traction, and they finally started becoming a thing. And then after a little bit, I mean, he went back because that's his jam. But uh, but then PewDiePie came back and gave the uh, the site thousands and thousands of dollars in, in an investment, and then started giving a. Uh, uh, PewDiePie donates money to random D live streamers thing, which mm -hmm. was really really cool, and it brought the uh, uh, the 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 uh, I guess it, it bumped up the stock in the public eye so to speak in D live. That's what PewDiePie did, and honestly, I think uh, uh, D live is in a much stronger position uh, to become like a a viable. Well, it's almost they're they're at the precipice, I think, of a viable being a very viable alternative, because there is a uh, there is a user base over there. Uh, everyone's very very active, and there's a uh, uh, the 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 lemon or the Lino system, the 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 blockchain system that they got going on, because that's kind of their uh, their their little rub, their little gimmick thing. Uh, I, th I think that they got something really good going on over there, and I think ultimately, time's going to tell uh, how big that site's going to get. Well, and let I me ask you a question. What do you think the appeal of DLive is? Oh, well, blockchain, if you're into uh, cryptocurrency, if you're into if, if you're uh, absolutely sick of uh, how uh, uh, Twitch is ran. And, like, there, there's a lot of people who are there. But what do you think the main online. reason is that move to, to DLive is what I mean? Oh, it's just like well, it's, I don't know, man. It's either like you're banned off of one of the platforms mm -hmm. or you're also sick of all the other platforms because it really does kind of suck to to not to to not say talk about or to not watch the DNC debates on your Twitch channel like a Trihex for crying yeah. out loud uh, gets freaking uh, uh, struck down or gets it gets a strike. Because by Twitch themselves, like one of their people, one of their golden boys, you know, and I don't mean that in a disparaging way. I mean they really do bend over backwards to uh, please him, and they allow CBS or MSNBC or whoever it is to strike the fucking crap out of them. So eventually, well, that's yeah, but but still, that it shouldn't even be a big deal at all. Like that's, I mean, that's exposure for the Democratic candidates. But that's just, but that's politics. That's just politics. Uh, I don't want to get too off a uh, topic here, but eventually, that that anger 
whether or not it's uh, justified or not, it's there's going to be a boiling point to where people just go, you know what, I can't stand it, man. I, I just got to get the hell out of here. Or you were a douchebag uh, spreading like Nat Sock freaking propaganda and you're trying to like be sort of like a, a Tommy Robinson or sort of like kind of Nick Fuentes and show up on DLive, which I don't know if that's going to do them, do them any favors or not. Like uh, the reason why Daily Motion, I don't think really uh, uh, will ever be a thing because one, the, the watching a video on there is a fucking chore. Uh, to uh, there, there's too much quote unquote controversial t uh, content, and by that, I mean like gore videos. I mean like uh, 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 like full on Holocaust denial videos and and all that other shit. Uh, you were saying earlier that optics matter and I wholeheartedly yes. agree with that optics does matter so uh, e e but e eventually a company does have the right to stand up and say hey I don't really like what Nick Fuentes is saying but as long as he adheres to our TOS at least on this site you know we get well, I guess we'll give him a pass because hey would they're not also not in, in a position to uh, ban one of their uh, top t the probably their top ten site wide streamers also I mean it's like if if YouTube just fucking zucked PewDiePie route the platform that'd be fucking devastating I think but anyway uh, yeah optics do matter and eventually we're going to see where that attitude will take us and I, I think. I, I think there's going to be a definite, a definite pendulum swing, uh, b both uh, socio-politically and politically, uh, because uh, you know, the, the 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 route, the the rate that we've been going, uh, the, the, or excuse me, the, uh, the the direction that we're going in, doesn't seem to be uh, very viable uh, for like many other people. Like I think everyone under the freaking sun. Is kind of getting sick and tired of these these companies sort of dictating what freedom of speech is supposed to mean to us, and what we can and cannot say. So th there's got to be a, a boiling point, uh, a, a no more. This is the freaking line, and you crossed it. Point. Anyway, uh, uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, I guess uh, Riley, go ahead. Do you have anything to add to that? I hate you, Riley. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, man. I'm... Yes, Jason, please. <laughs> yes, please say, save Riley. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, well, I realized something while you were going on your little rant. Yeah, all right, good, uh, good. You, you, you said it was a rant. You didn't spare my feelings and say your spiel or your eloquent speech because I would have booted you, quite frankly, right out of this fucking call if you tried to, like, condescend to me. No, it's fine. I'm fucking with you. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. He, he uh, did DM during... me. Wow, this yeah. man likes talking. Am I right? Can we get a fog chip in chat? I know. It's almost like this is my show. I know, right? But I... <laughs> <laughs> well, our show, our show. It's During new. a podcast, I always just mess with everybody. Uh, but uh, I realized something while you were going on your rant. Uh, nothing is safe because, like, it's not. You know, YouTubers, it's totally not. Yeah, YouTubers would wish to, uh, you know, g ab uh, abide by COPPA and not make their content uh, child friendly so they can get money, right? Yeah. So, so kids are just gonna lie about their age anyway and YouTube is still probably going to do whatever they, the heck they want because kids will just still follow whoever they like they don't care about COPPA they don't understand the consequences and the other thing is that like if a content creator goes to like Twitch or like BitChute or anything like that like the FTC can just follow them there and apply COPPA to their to that platform as well once enough like children once it gains enough traction as youtube did because a bunch of creators are gonna freaking move over and i hate to say this but that should already have happened in fact i gotta say i gotta kind of finger wag uh fucking youtube 
for not get, being COPPA compliant in the fucking first place. Then again, Robin, with another one of her gems, did say, and I quote, the, the children it were sort of their free money uh, sort of thing. That's why when the adpocalypse happened, it really just devastated the shit out of YouTube because uh, the, the government has been shipping away at their fucking meal ticket. And personally... For them to not be lawfully compliant already and not inform us, because it is not our job. I ig Ignorance is an excuse. I, I'm sorry, but I, I don't believe in the whole, like, ignorance of the law is not an excuse. Like, dude, yes it is, man. Like, there are, like, there are plants that you can go to prison, federal pound me in the ass prison for, for picking, and they have nothing to do with drugs. You know, like, if I got, say caught mowing over a field of blue bonnets or a little patch of blue bonnets in the state of Texas where I live in, dude, my ass would be going to fucking jail and I would be treated like I'm fucking Bin Laden for uh, for disrespecting uh, the, the... Hate crimes against blue bonnets. Oh, well, yeah, it's a slap in the face of your home, you know, because pride is a very real thing here. Uh, but yeah, 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 uh, uh, bitch shoot YouTube and, and Twitch and all these people should have already should already be uh, lawfully compliant and honestly I think that the user should never get a ban I think or excuse me they should never get a fine I think every time a cop of freaking violation is found I think YouTube should incur the fine N not, not the user I'm sorry it's not the user's fault like, it's not the user's fault if they made, like, a year and a half worth of uh, Fortnite uh, rage compilation videos. And then all of a sudden, you know, because a bunch of kids watch it, oh, well, this isn't COPPA compliant and you're just trying to farm freaking uh, data so you can sell it to advertisers. I mean, that's fucked. YouTube's actually been fighting the FCC, I think, for like the past 10 years or something on whether or not they should have to comply. Yeah, with they've been gathering kids' data. Of course they're going to freaking fight the FTC. Oh, yeah. Well, the FTC has been fighting YouTube. Like, they, they've been at each other in court, like, deciding whether or not YouTube is, is marketed towards children. And I think the final nail in the coffin was, like, YouTube kids, right? Like, it was like, okay, the well, nail it's, the pretty the... that, uh, it's pretty clearly that... It's pretty clear that you're actually don't marketing. Interrupt. Please. towards children when you have something called YouTube Kids, you know? Yeah. yeah. But, Go ahead. Sorry, buddy. Uh, uh, the the actual... What I feel like was the real nail in the coffin was freaking YouTube, like, flat out saying, we're... A lot of kids watch us. Like, they flat out said that we, that we are the number one kids entertainment site. And it's not... They weren't talking about YouTube Kids. They were talking about YouTube. Yeah. So like, of course, if you say if you gloat like that, of course it's gonna come back and bite you in the ass. I think that ultimately with YouTube, in probably like twenty, thirty years from now, uh, business majors are going to go uh, look back at this time, and I think maybe YouTube is going to be used a as a standard for what to do and what not to do as a company, because this isn't like an anti YouTube. Uh, uh, podcast or even episode uh i i think they've done such great things but their their terrible things are, are really fucking terrible it's like you know you, you fund like four or five orphanages but you run a freaking busload of orphans off the fucking road and into a ravine and it explodes in a ball of flame you know it's like you did good but you did fucking terrible as well man <laughs> The thing about YouTube is it's just sad that it's, like, it's slowly deteriorating from its, like, intended purpose. Like, YouTube has always been a place where if you're someone who's passionate about entertaining people, you can do that. You have a place where you can upload, upload, what the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Sorry, dude. I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, like an antithesis. <laughs> Mark that down. Uh, no, that was, that was funny. All right, go ahead, Riley. It's a place where you can. It's a place where if you're somebody who likes to entertain, you can upload your videos for no like hosting charge, and you can spread them around. That anybody can make make their mark and even make careers off of YouTube. That that was 
what it was for a while, but now that's slowly deteriorating. Yeah, and, more and, and, and that was extreme celebrities are taking over and the creators are getting fucked. Oh, completely, completely. And the, fu the fucking crazy thing is uh, what you just subscribed. That was like an afterthought. That was like uh, YouTube version 2.0. YouTube 1.0 was just a place where I could just, you know, like where nutcases can scream at the freaking wailing wall and, and you know, uh, their political or social opinions or someone uploaded like a cat pics and stuff like the, the old memes, you know, the Maya, he, Maya, who, I mean, YouTube really did birth the modern day meme. It, it was the place that really did facilitate uh, the, 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 the spreading of this viral fucking sensation of memory, you know, and I'll always be thankful for that. Uh, but at the end of the day, though, it's, it seems that it, it's not only, not only are the suits who control YouTube, uh, uh, so d utterly disrespect, they, they utterly disrespect the audience, but not only do they not care, but, they don't seem to even want to either one change or learn or even, you know, just just uh, find a way to monetize what you see right in front of you because, you know, they could probably be making a whole lot more money. This is this has got to cost them more than they're making to do like every single one of these terrible steps of theirs. They don't seem to really uh they, they, they seem to be have been like the last few years been making wrong move after wrong move after wrong move and i know they're the smartest people in the room and i'm not going to say that susan wajowski is fucking stupid or anyone in the youtube board that. for that matter but <laughs> no, i i don't think they are but someone's making wrong decisions and i think they're using execu speak to execute speak to each other you know the hey don't you worry about blank let me handle blank like in Futurama it's like a whole boardroom of them saying that to each other and doing finger guns you know don't you worry about blank let me worry about blank <laughs> and they just do not give a shit about what modern day society actually looks like mm hmm uh, Robin, do you have any opinions uh, on on what I just said? Do you think do you think there ever will be a viable alternative, or if you think there are or there aren't, uh, what? Well, but let me rephrase that. If you think there is a viable alternative, what do you think uh, is the viable alternative in the long well, run? It depends on what you mean by viable. Like what 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 do you mean when you well, say viable? Well, okay, like say say bit shoot gets its full-on HD and streaming capabilities implemented into the site. And, you know, people like Medicare and all the... Well, all the bad boys will, of course, flock over here because they got banned off YouTube for being naughty, no, no, bad people. And all that stuff. And I know I'm not, like, really downplaying that because there are a bunch of shitheads that will be coming to the platform to sort of shit it up for a little bit. But e eventually, th there's going to be a lot of creativity... That, that comes through there because it, it'll be sort of like everyone can breathe a little bit and you know opinions can be uh, expressed that aren't exactly harmful or hateful and you know we can start having rational and reasonable discourse about insert topic here again because I think it's just gotten too uh, if, too well, heavy so if I go on bitch shoot right now, do you think I'm gonna see uh, rational, reasonable discourse? <laughs> honestly, <laughs> what do you think I'm gonna see there? Honestly, there's a lot of really cool. The fact that you can't see that. There, sh shut up. <laughs> uh, no, I was playing. I'm playing. Uh, <laughs> Let's do it. There's <laughs> actually, there's actually a ton of really cool stuff on there, especially <laughs> since, uh, like, I've been uploading our stuff to bitch shoot. And ever since I started using tags like their their little algorithm or whatever they got going on over there, it has been recommending, uh, 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 like almost accurately, what I would like to watch or what they think my interest would be. So the uh, the the nutball like George Lincoln Rockwell or whatever the fuck uh, the the founder of modern day National Socialism, uh, you know. Even though I know that's on bit shoot somewhere, it's not throwing that in my face, and it's not throwing you know like 
super duper co controversial top topics or content into my stuff. I, I think it's sort of a, you know, after a little while you use it for a little bit of a month, then I guess its algorithm catches up to your uh, likes. And finally, we starts we got, recommending. We got trending this week on BitChute. We've got Rudolph the Jewish Reindeer, uh, Illuminati <laughs> Sacrifice Trash hey, hey, Rapper, hey, Juice oh, World, okay, is I, burning I, in hell for rejecting <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, right I, I did say I, I did say that the tags I did say that the tags I used were like video game related and stuff like that, and had nothing to do with Judaism. This, louder this is with not... Crowder, Infowars. Please send me this. <laughs> send you BitChute. I need to see the. Oh, yeah, me and Jason I... both tried to make bitch shoot accounts and it didn't work, right? Yeah. Are London you, are Bridge you Attack, 100% false flag. This is top trending this month in news and politics. Uh, well, I mean, you can't really I stop people from seen. talking about, like, you know, what they think false flagging means. I mean, I guess it's. Oh, not... a video from the Proud Boys. Oh, God, those guys fucking suck so much. <laughs> like, God, I, I, I hate, or I hate, like, male or female organizations that are just like, blah, we're the blah, blah, and we do blah, blah, and because we're a bunch of females, we're a bunch of males, and the whole premise of it is kind of fucking stupid, and if you go to a meeting, you're immediately disappointed because you kind of thought it might have been something cool. Really, it's just fucking lame. It's sort of like, you I could have just... in a cool club. Well, like, yeah, 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 but then all of a sudden you, you got a bunch of bullshit, and you have to listen to a bunch of assholes speak. I mean, hey, you know, like, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, like, well, you know, if I'm like a middle of the road. Uh -oh. Excuse Jojo. me, Mr. Man. Who's watching JoJo? What the hell? Jojo? No, that's my alarm clock. <laughs> but, uh. <laughs> we. No, if, if I, uh, if I want to switch over to, like, mm -hmm. bitch dude, I'm going to go on to bitch dude. I'm going to go, all right, what, what kind of people post here? Because, you know, optics are important. I don't want to, you know. I don't want to be associated with, you know, certain types of bad ideologies. So let's go. And, like, if I see all that, I'm going to be like, yeah, I guess, I guess I'm just going to stick with YouTube. Yeah, like, it, it is. I mean, that's that's pretty fucking bad. I, I, I do have to say, Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, usually, I because, like, I've been at use, at BitChute for a while now. Like, like I said, it's starting to get tailored to me and my tastes. But uh, I, I, guess, I, I guess I haven't really deep dived into uh every single little uh <laughs> recommended video there honestly you, you get you're if you're on the internet for long enough you start becoming desensitized to basically everything on there so maybe i just don't like notice it as much as i used to no and i'm not saying like this like super offends me personally but like to someone who might be thinking of switching over from youtube to bitchute it's not the best optics. No, no. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it because of optics, but also like people probably wouldn't do it because like they hardcore disagree with you know things like Juice World is burning in hell right now, you know. Oh God, really? Oh, God. Yeah, I, 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 I've been seeing a lot of that Juice World has been burning in hell stuff a lot on YouTube as well. It's not as prevalent, and like a lot of it tends to get freaking zucked out of existence. But like it has been in there lately, but uh, yeah, that that's fuck, that's pretty bad. Well, I mean, I, I guess I guess like I guess that's the price we pay for trying to get exposure on other platforms. At the end of the day, though, when you're this when you're bit shoot small, it doesn't really feel like you have enough power to like ban all these people because like once again take like what we were talking about with D Live and Nick Fuentes even though I find Nick Fuentes' politics pretty distasteful and a little bit weird with the obsession of sodomy and and, and gay sex like dude what the fuck like really it's, it's just so fucking weird anyway he comes up in every podcast we do though god he sure fucking does like oh and and, and the, the other guy who I'm not going to mention because We've actually done really well not mentioning that other guy. But yeah, we'll, we'll stop talking about Nick Fuentes uh, in here. But Wait, which guy? Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, right. okay. wait. 
Shut up. 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 You shut your fucking trap. Guys, I know we can't send his fucking Christ. <laughs> Guys, I know we're not allowed to say Voldemort's name, but it's okay. He's dead. I know, I know. But anywho. Well, no, he's just banned on YouTube. Yeah, you, you know, cause... Loki Jones. Yes, yes, yes. Are right, are you done? Are you done, Riley? Just Do you monkey, think Monkey, monkey Jones' new channel is gonna get banned for calling Susan a horse faced bitch? Oh, dude, I'm surprised. Uh oh, uh, I'm surprised that uh, he. He didn't get fucking assassinated by like, cause I I know fucking Wach Wachowski, or uh, Shambalamba, or whatever the fuck her name Waluigi. is. Waluigi. Waluigi. Yeah, Susan Waluigi. I'm sure that she has plenty of fucking uh, uh, assassin money. Like you can get on the dark web or the deep web. Oh god, the the. the media. I doubt she actually makes any high level YouTube decisions. Like I'm pretty sure she's just the face of YouTube. I know, I know. The decision to ass literally assassinate Monkey Jones. Oh man, dude, like, yeah, like, uh, that, 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 uh, that, that video right before he went fucking full retard, fucking batshit, and started banging freaking pedophiles? Yeah, 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 like, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that's exactly how it would go down, either. Like, it wouldn't surprise me at all. The but, uh, determination survival guy gets taken down because he calls Susan a horse face bitch. <laughs> Susan, give me back my YouTube channel. Oh, or fucking Medicare. Oh, man. Medicare is like, pay what you owe, Susan. Susan, where is my fucking money, Susan? Until then, expect more with reports, Susan. You will pay what you owe. Those are my god, those are my favorite fucking uh, little Twitter videos. Are you like. YouTube is like the content against YouTube is especially delicious uh, this year. Like it, it's never been as good, but the the the, the Medicare stuff, the, the 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 Monkey Jones stuff, uh, uh, everything has just been fucking phenomenal, and and I, I love the shit out of it because like yeah, you should all you should try to at least obey the TOS. But it's a little bit fun when you know you sort of go rogue and and do your own thing, because then you get you get a lot more entertainment. Anyway, I think I'm losing the point here, and I, I we're at the 53 minute mark, so let's go ahead and start wrapping things up. Uh, Riley, what do you think about Coppa, and do you think that it'll be enforced rationally, reasonably, and do you think this new TOS update? Uh, will be enforced rationally and reasonably. I think they're both huge catastrophes. Like, I think a lot of stuff is going to get victimized. Who knows to what extent it's going to get enforced. With the harassment stuff, I feel like it's kind of always Yo. been there. There's a person. What? Yeah, yeah, hey, 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 man, don't interrupt, man. Alright, anyway, sorry, go ahead, Riley. <laughs> they're both huge travesties i feel like the bullying thing is gonna end up falling by the wayside because that's always been a thing to an extent well yeah like how, how how much do you think that they'll actually be able to enforce that but then still look at but but still look at their entire user base getting pissed off that you know uh uh, uh, say your favorite late night tv show host is still making quote-unquote orange man bad jokes and they're still, you know, making like insert Republican here is a is a stupid face, uh, jokes, you know, and they're they're sort of wondering, well, this isn't very even handed, now is it? And they're going to get pissed about it. But anyway, uh, unless uh, uh, do you have anything? Do you have anything else yeah, you want to add to Riley? Yeah, I was about to say something. Yeah. Okay. Um, go ahead. So I don't know about the bullying regulations. The thing with COPPA is a very scary and very mysterious thing, and it's something, like I said, like small people who don't have money to combat it's just legal gonna, action. Yeah, it's just going to fuck them over. All right, all right. It's either if, if they don't know what's going on, it's going to fuck them. And if they do know what's going on, they, if they're smart, aren't going to take the chance and leave YouTube. Yeah. All right, uh, Robin. Uh, go ahead. What What do you think about what we're uh, what we're talking about? 
Yeah, I mean, I think it's important to protect like our children from uh, from data collection. I think that's like pretty immoral to collect data from people who can't consent to it, like adults. Yeah. But I think the the system needs to be a lot more defined. All right, all right. Uh, Ho Diggity, aka Kim Jong Skill. Hey, you just showed up. What's up, buddy? How you doing? It is good. All right, cool. Do you have any hot takes on Copper or the recent uh, uh, TOS uh, uh, harassment up, uh, update? I know nothing about the TOS harassment update. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Anything? Any opinion on Copper? Uh, yeah, from what I understand, it's been in place since like the late '90s. I don't know how YouTube got away with it for so. Long. Yeah, that, that's why everyone's been scratching their heads over. Uh, but anyway, uh, bruh, well, uh, I mean, uh, fucking, you, you changed your name again. Uh, Jello. J uh, Jello, Jello. Let's go ahead and end the show with what you, what you think. What's your hot take on uh, COPPA and the new TOS change? All right, well, basically, moral of the story is uh, prison is bad. Prison is bad. Yeah. What a so, revelation. Yeah, 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 I, I, I know, right? Like, jail is bad. Having your freedom taken <laughs> away is no es bueno. But it's better than middle school. Uh, now are we sure prison's bad? Yeah, prison is pretty <laughs> insert, bad. Insert uh, Ned's declassified school survival guide intro here. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Jello Riley, do you have anything you want to hawk? Uh, Jello, we'll start with you. Uh, no, my channel's gonna be dead soon, so what's the point? Well, that's the hell of a way to look at your content, Mr. Van. All right. He's gonna private it all because he doesn't want to get victimized by Kappa. Oh, well, all right, you got a point there. Robin, you got anything you want to uh, uh, hawk before you privatize it? Uh, yeah, you can find me on Twitter at Inside Alloy, and then I stream on Twitch sometimes, uh, twitch.tv slash Inside Alloy. All right, Riley, do you have anything you'd like to hawk? Oh, I've got plenty of hawk. All right, well, come on. <laughs> you you, <laughs> you know me. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Riley Tweets. Uh, I guess until December 24th is probably when I'm going to private it all. You could. Subscribe to me on YouTube as Riley Brooks. Uh huh. And and I have a couple podcasts. Um, you could a lot of them can be found on that YouTube, and will soon be found on the Riley Brooks Super Feed. And the couple that aren't are Pixels, Polygons, and Fun, which is like on every podcast platform conceivable. There's Pokemon Variety Hour recently returning recently re-uploaded because the feed was deleted and we'll have new episodes soon is up on a, a good chunk of podcast platforms you won't find it on apple podcast or google but you will find it on spotify stitcher and a couple of less uh mainstream places like radio public and such and yeah, those are the main two that can't be found on the YouTube and won't be found on the Super Feed. <laughs> Other than that, still there. All right. And I am, of course, your host, Mo Diggity. You can catch me at twitch.tv slash Mo Diggity. I play a lot of freaking retro games in Fortnite on there. Uh, you can catch me at Mo Diggity 42 if you want, or Mo Diggity 42 on BitChute. Or, sorry. You can catch me on Mo Diggity 42 on BitChute and uh, YouTube. And uh, we're going to be branching out to other platforms as well because, you know, we're always trying to find our audience. And I believe that we're going to find our audience really soon. It just takes a little bit of work and a de determination. And honestly, I think the squeaky, gil the squeaky wheel gets the grease, so to speak. And uh, all this will pay off. And if, it's, if we don't get big on YouTube or be even because of YouTube, fuck them. We got our own shit. And we'll, we'll end up making it, even if it's not with the, the, the backing of the big dog in the freaking yard. You can also catch me at not Mo Diggity 42 on Twitter because I've been banned multiple times off there. And uh yeah, 
Uh, I'd like to thank Jello for being our guest uh, that Riley uh, got for us. Thank you, Riley. I appreciate it. Robin had to go ahead and duck out, but you know what? I'll sign off for her and say thank you for coming out. I appreciate it. And until next time, ta-ta. Bye. <laughs>